Hello there, it's your girl, Tech Girl Crystal Hell, and I'm gonna show you how to set up your air solo to go live. So first of all, up my screen, if my screen stay together, there we go, because I got that question mark right there. It's gonna look like my screen should be looking like this. Hold on, let's fix that. There we go. So first of all, you're gonna hit the little gear. Once you hit the little gear, I'm gonna make this a little bigger so you can see it, okay? Once you do that, you see where the settings, where it says, uh, my, my, I switched my um, thing on here, so it'll come back up. Just a second there. All right, where it says broadcast destination, you're going to go ahead and click on that. Once you, um, good, once you um, click on either it'll have the option, and it'll look um It'll look something like this. And when it does that, you just click, um, there you go. It'll look something like this. You'll click where it says custom RTMP. This is gonna come up. I'm gonna go already go to my settings that's already set up, okay? So once I go to there, you're gonna put the RTMP colon backslash backslash waynetworklogin.com colon 1935 backslash whatever the name of your stream is this uh, particular application is profit live then you're going to put the stream name the stream is going to be called live once you put that you put the user in the passport in the password um, which is already given to you so you should have that if you don't have your password please email someone in production and they can get that to you um, and then you're going to press done once you, play, once you press done there, you're going to press done here. It's going to apply the settings. You have one more thing that you have to do to make sure that it's set up right. So as you see, when you come, let me make this a little smaller so you can see what I'm seeing exactly. Now you're going to get this screen to come up, which if you hit the bottom, it is, it's going to come right up. And there's a little gear button on the right hand side. Go ahead and click that. Sorry. Okay, oh no, you press the gear button again right here, this blue gear button. Then you're gonna go down to where, I'm gonna uh, zoom this in for you so you can see it. You're gonna go to where it says uh, encoder settings, click that, that's the second thing. Once you do that, right here where it says resolution, you can do like 720, that's cool. On the bit rate, you wanna make sure the bit rate is at 750, okay? And then on your frame rate, you wanna make sure it's at 30 seconds, I mean 30 FPS in the frame interval, you wanna make sure it's at two. The adaptive bit rate, you're gonna make sure that's turned on. And then, no, 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 bit where it says uh, bit rate limiting. Go ahead and turn that on, press done. Hey, mama. All right. Then it's gonna say apply settings. Then if you have this screen and it looks black and all that stuff like that, you need to scroll over to the left. You're gonna open that and where, is, where, where you're gonna see your camera or it might say iOS camera, where you see your camera at, you're gonna put that there. That's gonna get your camera going. Then you're gonna bring this up. As you see, this tells me I'm muted on the bottom. Since I'm muted uh, on the bottom, which I don't know if that was showing over there, let's see. Okay, there you go, now you can see it. How it tells me right there, I'm muted. Well, can't nobody hear what I'm saying. And I gotta make sure that my volume is turned all the way down, okay? So you won't get no interference with your microphone. I'm trying to hold my thing down. Okay, which it probably is. So you're just gonna press that little speaker and it should highlight just like that. Once it hot once it highlights like that, we can hear your volume. But if it's like this, muted, can't hear you. Okay? So you wanna make sure that's turned on. Now what I recommend you doing is having some type of slate over here. And I'm just gonna put this picture up of my husband there so you can see what I mean. But you can use any type of picture you want. And what I would do is, 
when I'm ready to go live, you go live first on Air Solo. Then, since you already have a picture of you can just take it off when you're ready uh, to use your camera, okay? You'll just press go live here, and it'll tell you it's live and all that stuff. I'm not going to log into this person's account, but... It'll tell you it's live and everything, right? And then once it's, or it says publishing or something like that, and then it'll have the things. It'll let you know it's on. Make sure this is on first, and then go to uh, your push and push your streams to your destination. And you, uh, you will see this. And then, of course, once you're ready to go live and talk or whatever, you take it off like that just by touching it. And then it goes to your camera. And then if you have overlays, you know, if you have overlays like this or, or whatever you got, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be there. All right? So that's how you do that. God bless.